What up, it's Snowflake, and uh, I'm gonna show you how to basically get your QuickTimes ready for DVD Studio Pro. This is tutorial number two in my DVD Studio Pro series, okay? So, what we're gonna do is the last tutorial, I showed you how to take your HD video and turn it into an SD video, okay, SD QuickTime. Now we're gonna take that SD QuickTime that you made, that you had, that you got, the result of that, we're gonna take that and turn it into a DVD file so that it's ready for DVD Studio Pro. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the compressor, okay? And then we're gonna go find your SD uh, QuickTimes, which I exported over here in my SD folder, and I'm gonna highlight all these QuickTimes, and I'm gonna drag them and drop them right there. Cool. Now, in Compressor, there are already pre-made settings, and in the Apple folder, and then the DVD folder, yes, you'll see that there's all these different DVD settings. Okay, now, the ones that I mainly pay attention to are these three. The DVD best quality, uh, 120 minutes, 150 minutes, and 90 minutes. And so basically that's an hour and a half, uh, two hours, or two and a half hours, right? Those are your settings for a DVD. That's how much video you can fit on one DVD, okay? And, and, and you know, it, it, the, the quality's not that noticeable from one to the other. I mean, if you really look close, you can tell you know, but um, I tend to stick with the 90 minute uh, if I can get away with it. Otherwise, I think 120 minute is fine. Uh, I don't use 150 minute as much because it is a little bit lower quality. But hey, you know, you might not be able to tell the difference. So give it a shot, okay? But for this one, it's only a 10 minute DVD. So I'm going to use 90 minutes because that's plenty of space. All right? So uh, I'm going to go here. Now there's two settings in here and you're going to highlight both of them. All right, by hitting click and then shift, click, right, okay, click on both, all right? And what that is is the DVD files are broken into two files, one for video and one for audio. That's it, for a DVD file, that's how they're broken up. It's not together like a QuickTime. There's two different files. So you gotta drag both of them over onto your compressor, uh, onto your videos in the compressor, okay? Then we're gonna highlight them, all. We're gonna go target, destination, other, we're gonna to go to my hard drive. We're gonna go to export. And I have a folder called DVD. We're gonna hit open. And then I'm gonna hit submit. And I'm gonna hit it one more time. And it's gonna show up in my history window. And you can see that it has started the exporting process. And so what this is doing is it's taking my standard definition quick times and compressing them to DVD files. Now you may be asking yourself, Snowflake, like why couldn't I just take my HD quick times and throw them in there and do that? Well, you could. I'm not saying you can't. Uh, I have just found that the quality is better if you take an HD quick time, turn it into an SD quick time, and then turn that SD quick time into a DVD file. That's been my experience. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Okay, that was video number two of my DVD Studio Pro series. Uh, if it was helpful, make sure to like the video and then like comment in it, whatever, you know, say anything, I don't care. And then subscribe, that'd be awesome. If you could subscribe, that'd be cool too. Then check back later for more tutorials and tips. Final Cut Pro, Apple Motion, Compressor, DVD Studio Pro, and check back later for the next video in this series. Because there's gonna be another one, yes.